Hey guys, welcome back to another Warframe Enemy Overview video. This time we'll be taking a look at the new Void Angel, also known as Void Manifestations, and talk about ways you could take him down without much trouble even in Steel Path. Also just a general reminder before we move on, if you enjoy Warframe content then please consider checking out some of the other videos on this channel and see if it's worth hitting that subscribe button. Alright, let's go. Apparently these guys are former 10-0 crew members that got corrupted beyond recognition by the Void, I think. The whole lore regarding the new NPCs and Void corruption kind of went over my head. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have played through the entire thing with heavy sleep deprivation. Anyways, let's go over the stats real quick. Just like the Thrax, Void Angels belong to an unknown faction. They have Proto Shields, which are weak to Magnetic, Machinery type Flesh, which is interesting, but also weak to Blast. And they're all alloy armored, meaning radiation is the way to go. Also, is it me or the EHP scaling is getting out of hand these days? Like, the Void Angels at level 190 have an EHP of about 46 million. Put Steel Path into the equation and that number will hit well over 280 million. I mean, yeah, you're not gonna encounter ones at that high of a level even in tier 4 bounties unless you really try, but still, it's a little eye-opening to see how crazy scaling can get. With all that said, there's enough gear in this game to take care of even ridiculous things like that, which we'll cover, so stay tuned. Most of you guys have probably encountered the Void Angels at this point, so you'll know that they have two forms or phases, physical and ethereal. In its physical form, the Void Angel has three main abilities, first one being a teleport that targets the area around a player which will lead into a slam attack that creates a shockwave. The landing zone will also be telegraphed by faint swirls of red energy. Second ability is the one where it starts to charge a red orb that'll absorb all incoming damage. This orb can actually be destroyed by your operator and if you do that while it's charging, the angel will get staggered, which is nice. Finally, the spike attack. This is where the Void Angel slams the ground to send out spikes that disables the use of your Warframe until you destroy said spikes with your operator. Do know that after losing at least one health segment during a fight, the Void Angel will gain new abilities, that being a surrounding fog that heals the angel if it damages a Warframe or enemy specter, and a delayed large area explosion that gets set off in the same fog area. That's not all though, as we haven't even covered the ethereal form yet, but thankfully, it's nothing too complicated to remember. The ethereal angel mainly attacks with a swipe that creates sequentially firing beams, as sometimes it'll fire a homing orb from its face that's called anguish. If I didn't know any better, I'd say the Void Angel is trying to re you to death. Finally, it's that dangerous hyperbeam-like ability which the Void Angel is likely to use if you don't dispatch of it quickly, and it has tracking that'll make even Elden Ring bosses jealous. Well, not really, but the beam has great tracking and it ignores a Void Mode, yeah. Alright Mello, what do I gotta do to quickly eliminate these things cause I need a lot of Void Plume Pinions? Well, you know those dimensional orbs that circle around the Void Angel? According to the wiki, those spawn when the angel has been damaged by at least 50%, but after a bit of testing, that does not seem to be the case. However, if you have the DPS and time it right, you can completely skip this invulnerability phase. Also, the golden force field that generates once you land with your operator after taking out a dimensional orb actually grants your amp attacks heat damage and blocks some of the angel's attacks. How much they give in terms of percentage, I don't know currently, but they don't stack with each other in case you were wondering. Speaking of amps, here's my setup for dealing with steel path angels that will also near insta kill these things on lower levels. Majorai is the obvious focus cool choice with a 177 or 777 amp, but honestly for the regular Xerman bounties you could use just about any amp you like. As far as arcanes go, since I'm running 777 most of the time, I prefer Virtuous Strike. The only con with this setup is that it's difficult to hit the angel if it moves out from the center of the void arena to set up that hyperbeam attack, but that shouldn't happen in the first place due to the copious amounts of damage. According to the Warframe Wiki again, the Void Angel's ethereal form has a flesh health type, meaning it's weak to viral, making Virtuous Trojan a good choice to help you deal with the ethereal phase, especially in Steel Path mode. Eternal Eradicate sold by Cavalero is another brilliant arcane that could give you the boost you may need to increase your amp's effectiveness. But that's all for fighting against the ethereal form of the Void Angel. For dealing with the physical form, as I said before, it's alloy armor which is weak to radiation. You could also just completely strip the armor with a cat or shattering impact, which in that case you'll want to deal blast damage. And you know what deals blast damage in copious amounts? This thing, my Exodia Contagion equipped Plague Keywar. I'll probably have to make another clickbait video featuring the Zaw again sometime soon, I think. It's really good. Some additional info that you may find useful, the Void Angel is unaffected by loot abilities. They just don't work. 
The Ravenous variant of the Void Angel that is encountered in Void Armageddon missions only drops Void Bloom Quills and 7.5k of focus, whereas the dormant ones you encounter randomly will grant you the much needed pinions and 15k of focus. So yeah, I think that's about it. What do you guys think of the Void Angel's design? I think it's a decent attempt at something that's not just a bullet sponge like uh, the Wolf of Saturn 6. <laughs> Y'all remember that? But then again, everything's a goddamn bullet sponge in Steel Path, but I suppose that's just a skill issue. If you'd like to get in touch, feel free to join me on Discord, invite link in the description. Otherwise, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good day.